Hello everybody, so welcome back to another video and this one is a really exciting video because this is the first autumn 2022 video that I am about to film and as you can see from the title it's going to be a autumn um, haul I guess, autumn winter haul. I went to Primark, TK Maxx and Starbucks and then a place called Tiger Tiger and I got a load of autumn stuff. My intention today was to basically buy some like autumn decor pieces, some autumn clothes, um, and just see what I could find basically. So I'm really excited to share the first autumn video with you and I'm really excited for autumn. It's my favorite time of year. I absolutely love like September or October, you know, pumpkin picking and pumpkin spice and, being able to wrap up and wear boots and stuff. So yeah, I am gonna jump straight into the haul because otherwise we will be here forever. However, if you do like this video, then I would really love for you to obviously give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, a nice comment down below um, in the comment section, and I will try and link everything as much as I can, but I don't think Tiger Tiger have um, an online shop and neither does Primark, obviously, so I have got these stuff today, so they are very recent, so you can go and find them today. But yeah, I'm gonna jump straight in, and I think the first item I'm going to show you is what I bought from Starbucks. I'm really sorry about the lighting as well. Um, it's gonna be a bit hit and miss, because the weather is raining one minute, then we have rainbows, and now we've got sun. So yes, the first thing that I picked up was this cute little Starbucks cup, and this is one of their reusable cups. And I believe you get 20p off every time you go into a Starbucks um, off your drink if you take in a reusable cup. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's about 20p. Um, but every little helps. And obviously this is super cute. It's just got loads of pumpkins on it. And if you know me, you know that I love Starbucks. So I absolutely jumped for joy when I saw this. Um, this is definitely going to be my drinks cup for my chai lattes and stuff. So I think I'm just gonna pop that there. So yeah, it looks kind of cute there to be fair. Um, and then I will jump in to, I'll probably do TK Maxx and then Primark. Um, so this is my TK Maxx bag and it's a huge bag. Um, I didn't go crazy, it, it kind of looks like I got a lot more, um, but actually I got a few pieces, um, but I will show you the big piece first because I absolutely love this and I've always wanted something like this to put in the bedroom. We've got a wall that's a bit empty and I kind of thought that that would look beautiful hanging up because basically in my bedroom it's very grey, very white, we've got a bit of wood um, and I just absolutely love things like this. And this was only 7 99 which I thought actually wasn't that bad. I mean, I probably could make this myself, but I haven't got the time to do that. And I just really, really loved this. It's very big um, and I just can't wait to hang that up, up on the wall. It's gonna look super cute. And it definitely blends in with like the autumn winter vibes that I'm going for. So I really love that. So I'm just going to pop that down there. Then the next thing that I got from TK Maxx and I'm absolutely obsessed is the Pumpkin Caramel Zero Sugar Syrup. This is the skinny syrup. If you've been into TK Maxx then you will know that they have got millions of these currently in store. And this is the Pumpkin Caramel. I can't wait to obviously make myself a chai latte and I absolutely love putting pumpkin um, spice um, syrups in my drinks so this is going to be super nice for the autumn winter time and I can't wait to use it and I will definitely let you know what it tastes like um, so that's the next thing that I got then I bought this new hand soap I wanted a new hand soap because we are basically having our bathroom renovated and obviously um, I want to get like everything new in there and this is kind of like the decor that I'm going for so um, I really loved the bottle and I can reuse this bottle as well, which I thought would be really nice. Um, but this was only $4.99 and it is the lavender scent, um, number 78, Savon Liquid de Marcel, Marcel de Liquid Soap. I mean, I am not French, so I probably butchered that, but um, that is just what it looks like and I love it. So I got that. 
Then the next thing that I bought was this little cute vanilla pumpkin latte candle. Now I have already been to TK Maxx and purchased myself some candles already. Um, so I've basically got this one which is caramel cider and can we just appreciate how beautiful that is like the bow and it's got this like really cute little leaf there and it's just super cute and then I got this vanilla pumpkin one today with that kind of like pumpkin pattern at the top and it just smells so good now I absolutely love these DW home candles in MTK um, Max. these are my favorite but I just thought this would be nice to put in the bedroom and keep um on like my bedside table so that's what I'm gonna do but I've also got another one which I can't show you because it is like over there um but I'm really happy with that so I've got a couple of candles now as well then the last item that I got from TK Maxx was just this pen I wanted a new pen for my agenda video and my Louis Vuitton agenda now hopefully you've seen that video if you haven't I will link it um, down below but I've just recently filmed my new Louis Vuitton agenda video and I wanted to get a really nice fancy pen for it and I just thought this kind of matched with like the autumn vibes um, it's this like gingham print pen and it's one of the pucker pens and I believe it's part of the carp dim dim collection um, I've probably said that all wrong but it was only 3 49 which for a nice pen um, you know isn't that bad so yeah I got that and that was the last thing that I basically got from TK Maxx so not too bad and then I went into Tiger Tiger and I only got a small bag but I absolutely love Tiger Tiger they've got some very like quirky fun things in there and it's also very very cheap um but I've bought a load of stuff for the bathroom from there from there recently um, which I will probably show you once the bathroom is complete but I've got some really nice bits in there that I've got from Tiger Tiger and today I just went in there to get a couple of bits nothing exciting but I'm going to show you anyway um, this is just a washing up brush I needed a new one and I just loved the wooden theme this is kind of like the theme that I'm going for around the house it's just like this very nice like wooden um, country type vibe so I got that then in here I just got a couple of jars um, I just thought these were super cute they're like spice jars and I thought this would be really nice to put like my cinnamon powder in um, and then like some chocolate powder in this one so I can do like a little autumn like drink station that's kind of like what I want to do um, and I just thought they would look really cute in my kitchen so I just got a couple of them and I can't remember how much they were. I think they were like £3, um, but they weren't very expensive. I might be able to tell you here, jar glass. So these were £3 each, which actually isn't that bad. So um, yeah, really happy with those. Actually, were they £3 each or is that £3? Ah, so no, they were £1.50 each and obviously two for £3. So £1.50 for these, which actually isn't that bad. So I got them. Then for, for my boyfriend, he absolutely loves these um, caramel like wafer biscuit things, Dutch mini waffles. Um, but yeah, we really like these and these are really, really nice with a cup of tea and they're just really tasty. So I just got a couple of those for me and Kieran. And the next thing, the last thing I got from Tiger Tiger was just this pen, nothing exciting, um, but it's a really nice gel pen and I'm a bit obsessed with like planners and stationery and things like that so that is what I got so let me just move that out of the way now the exciting the most the reason why you're probably here on this video is for the Primark selection so I'm not gonna lie I went into Primark and I was disappointed with their selection so their autumn winter selection isn't that great but I don't know if it's because they haven't got their full collection out yet because obviously during Covid I think they've got a lot of old season stuff that they're trying to like get rid of before they obviously then catch up with the seasons but it's very annoying because they've got like a mixture of summer stuff and their autumn winter stuff isn't kind of like the colours that I'm going for they've got a lot of brightly coloured neon stuff in at the moment like 
very 80s, 70s vibes, which isn't really what I'm going for, but I did get some really nice decor bits and I think I got one clothing item and some boots. So um, the stuff that I got, I'm really, really happy with, to be fair. So it's just a case of going into Primark and really digging out to find these pieces. Um, but I'm gonna put the bag down because it is super duper heavy. But the I will show you the clothing item that I got first, which I do really like. And it is this skirt. Um, obviously, I'm not really going to bother trying it on because it's the only item I bought. However, I saw it and I just thought it was super cute. And I really love the detail here. And I thought autumn, winter, pair of tights, my new boots that I'm going to show you. And a really nice white jumper, a nice trench coat and a big chunky knit scarf. This is going to be like super nice so i got this in a size up because obviously i've got quite bigger hips and trying to find skirts that fit me is quite difficult but i think this is going to be okay because it's got that like extra slip bit here um and obviously i can tie these up and loosen them as need be so i'm really hoping this fits and i really really like it it was only 11 pounds as well which isn't bad um for a skirt so i'm really happy with that then the I will show you the boots because I really love these. I think these have been very popular in Primark at the moment, but I just thought that these are going to be really nice with some tights, some skirts, dresses for autumn, winter, and I really loved them. So I got these boots and I believe they were, oh, let me get rid of that. Now I haven't got the price because these were only, the only size five, five pair left. I think they were 17 pounds. I'm pretty sure they were £17, which I thought for a pair of solid boots, that isn't bad at all. Um, and they've got a really nice chunky heel. This bit obviously is quite nice and stretchy. Um, I don't have very big ankles anyway, so I don't think I'll have a problem, but I just really love them. They're obviously not real suede, um, so I'm not gonna be too worried about like, you know, getting them wet and things like that. But I just thought for £17, a really nice pair of Chunky boots is going to look really, really good for autumn, winter. So I got those and I thought as well, like with some black tights, this skirt and these boots is going to be really, really nice. So I'm really excited to style them up. Then I got some really nice chunky knit socks because for autumn, winter, you can't go wrong with a, pe pe a really nice pair of cozy winter socks. And these are like super duper soft and I really love the colours. Um, they are like the colours I'm going for this year, um, very neutral, quite plain, and they were only £3.50 for two pairs, which I thought actually isn't that bad, for some socks. So now I will go on to, actually no, I'll carry on with, because i got one more item of clothing, which is this really nice scarf, and it's super duper soft, and it's this like almost khaki green grey colour, um, but it's quite thin and it's quite big so you can sort of layer it and I'm really going to get a lot of use out of that for this year and I just thought it was quite a nice neutral colour so it will go with like the beiges, um, the whites and greys and things so I really really like that and that was only £5 which isn't that bad for um, just a plain scarf which is like really soft so I can't wait to get that use out of that. And it's also made using recycled polyester, which is obviously a good thing. And then I just got these random um, hair ties. Primark are really good for their hair ties, and they were only two pounds. And they are they are also in a very neutral colour. So I got those, and now I will get onto the decor items. The main reason I went in there, and I'm really happy with what I found, there wasn't many of these items left, so if you wanna go, like, go now. Um, but I will show you anyway. So the first thing I got, I saw it, and I was like, oh my God, I need to get that. But it's this very cute pumpkin, and oh, I just love it. It's so cute, just this plain little, like, porcelain um, pumpkin and it was only six pounds so I just thought for autumn winter I'm really sorry about the lighting as well this is going to look super cute on my shelves or somewhere in the lounge I haven't decided where it's going to go yet but I'm really excited for that then the other decor piece I saw in Primark was this small green pumpkin 
and I'm really into this kind of colour at the minute and I just thought like these two together will just look really really nice together and it's a really nice like olive green colour and it's not too big and that was only £4 so I thought that's not bad um, for a couple of decor pieces for the lounge and the next item I got is this candle and for obvious reasons I fell in love with it because look how cute that is it's got a little face um, I say a little face like nose and lips and I just thought that's super cute to go up here I've basically bought it to go up here so that's where he's going to go but I just thought he was really cute and he was only four pounds as well so I didn't think that was very expensive at all so I'm really sorry about that my camera decided to tell me that there was no battery uh, no battery no space left on my camera and as well as that sunlight is blinding but where was I um I was talking about these picture frames but yeah so I basically got these to go on my shelves um I'm not sure where I'm going to put them yet but these were only a pound each and they've got like this really nice snake skin effect and I really love those so for a pound each you can't go wrong and then I thought they would just be really nice to go on my shelves and the last thing that I got from Primark was this olive bath oil and some pillow spray this is meant to be for um, babies but it smells like lavender and I absolutely love like pillow sprays and things like that so I thought that would be really nice and it will also go along with the aesthetic that I'm going for in the bathroom um, so like that kind of you know aesthetic that I'm going for so they were the items that I got from Primark and that was pretty much everything I got um, other than this bubble bar that I got from um, Lush. Um, I'm not going to open it just because otherwise it would go everywhere but it was just one of the pink bubble bars that you can break off and put in the bath and I think it was about £6. Um, so yeah that is pretty much everything that I got from Primark um, and I really hope that you enjoyed, I'm really sorry I'm like putting things down on the floor beside me, um, but yeah I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I tried to rush it just because the last video that I filmed, the agenda video, was like 30 minutes long and for some reason YouTube decided to cut the video off so I'm trying to be quick so that way I can get the whole video in um, but I really hope that you enjoyed it, if you did please subscribe, it would really mean the world and I'm really getting into making these videos um, and I hope that you are enjoying them and I will see you guys in my next video, bye!